as people may know, Ian McEwan adapted the script himself from his novel. And I just thought he'd done it fantastically well. I wasn't surprised, but I was really impressed with the depth of the way it seemed to be instantly something that was going to work in cinema. Ian McEwan has such um, an art of laying out topics that are very important yet very difficult and uncomfortable to broach. I suppose first of all the, the idea of working with Dominic Cook again. Uh, I knew of him as a theatre director and the director of the Royal Court and he brings with him a, a whole set of ideas that appeal to me about creativity and how to collaborate and that was extraordinarily appealing. Dan has written a wonderful score for this movie and it was very important for me to really understand the story first through the book and then uh, by watching the movie to place exactly where the music appears and why it appears, why it's necessary. And often music comes in films in places where characters themselves don't always have the words. So in, in that respect, it was very important for me to understand the entire context and then start to play it and really work with the different sounds and colors and dance wonderful instrumentation and vary all types of tones in order to really get the right sentiment. This weekend we're going to be working with Esther Yu, who's an extraordinary young violinist who it's great to be working with her because some of what I've written is incredibly simple and it just requires somebody with her depth and experience and expressivity to you know to open that sound up. She'll be creating this sort of palette of music that Dominic has chosen with Nick the editor and, and the producers to, to, to create a, a sort of another score in the film which is Florence's headspace you know and, and, and how she hears the experience of being in love as it were. She's carrying this music in her head. Today uh, we're at Abbey Road Studios and we've been recording all of the quartet pieces for the film and to be here today recording film music is particularly special because outside on the walls there's all these posters of blockbuster movies that have all recorded their soundtracks here so it's a very special experience. As with so much of Ian's work, it reflects a moment in people's lives that will then affect the way the rest of their lives unfold. And it's an incredibly powerful idea. And the, the ambit of the film does take us from one end of their lives to the other in a way which is, I have to say, overpowering. There's so much diverse music in, in this film, and I think a lot of people can relate to it. And of course, the music is a way to really translate everything that the characters are doing and saying and feeling. Um, so I, I hope it has a big impact. Mm -hmm.